The question is, which element does this electron configuration, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p3, represent on the periodic table? So there are two ways we can do this. The first way is we can count up the electrons. So if we count all of these electrons up here, we have 15 total electrons for the element that's represented by this electron configuration. Since all of these elements here are neutral, that means the number of electrons and protons, they'll be the same. So if we know that we have 15 electrons, we just find this right here, phosphorus, the atomic number 15, that means it has 15 protons. Since it's neutral, it'll have 15 electrons. So this is the electron configuration for phosphorus. There's another way we can do this though. We could also look at the periodic table divided into orbital blocks. This is a good way to do it because it helps us really kind of understand what's going on here. So we have this ending in 3p3. So with the periodic table, when it's organized by these orbital blocks, we have 1s, all of these are 1s1. Here we have s2. Then we go from 3d1 all the way to 10, because d holds 10 electrons. And then for p, which holds six electrons, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're looking for 3p3. So we've got the third row or period here, and we have 3p1, 3p2, 3p3. So this element right here, that's gonna have this electron configuration. Let's go back to the periodic table with the elements listed. So again, we have phosphorus. We went one, two, three, and we're going over. Here's the P block, P1, two, three. So the electron configuration, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p3, that's going to be phosphorus, just like we found before. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.